Hello, darlings. And now, it's time for your favorite part of the show, our Stacking Benjamins Headlines. Our first headline comes to us from Investment News. That's an industry rag for investment professionals. It's written by Nicole Kasperson. Nicole's headline, Franklin Templeton partners to launch new robo-advisor called Tango. Have you heard of this? Nope. And the reason I bring this up, because of course, we've seen a lot of robo-advisors come out. Of course, the latest that we've profiled on this show was Vanguard. Brian Kincannon on talking about Vanguard Digital Advisor recently. Franklin Templeton's has a little different spin, OG. Listen to this. Franklin Templeton has tapped Singapore-based wealth tech Bamboo and Apex Clearing to launch a new turnkey robo-advisor Tango in an increasingly competitive digital advice space. The robo-advisor is designed to enable not individuals, but advisors to execute on two major trends this year, hyper-personalization and global-based wealth management for clients, according to the announcement Thursday of last week. Tango is likely to be compelling to advisors that are underserved by large custodians, according to a company spokesperson. So Franklin Templeton is going to leverage this thing that has goal called goals optimization engine. Find out what people's goals are with the advisor, recommend them a portfolio. The advisor then hands the money into this robo who then robos it. Yeah tracks progress toward toward the goals. And I think what this shows again, OG, is is a bunch of stuff about where the role of a financial advisor is versus where I think a lot of the public still thinks it is. I think it's more and more companies add online, that's not the right word, trading platforms, I guess, that make things simpler and easier for individuals to manage their money or advisors to manage other people's money then you're able to spend more and more time on the stuff that's more important, like the actual financial planning goals themselves. Yeah. I really think that, you know, when I hear somebody go, well, Hey, I don't know if my advisor can beat Vanguard. So I'm going to move to Vanguard. I'm like, you don't even have an advisor because your advisor doesn't compete with Vanguard. Your advisor doesn't compete with Franklin Templeton. If your advisor is doing what they should be doing, OG, they're making sure everything dovetails so that the money that goes to Vanguard or Franklin Templeton or wherever it should go is the right amount. And it's in the right place to meet the goal. And you've got a good tax strategy to get there. And if something happens to you, you've got an estate plan or you've got the right risk management strategy. Like it all should dovetail. It's not about managing the dollar. Gone are the days where there was product selection issues, you know, at the, at the advisor level. You know, it used to be if you wanted this product, you had to be with this firm and like you said, the whole, oh, I, I, you know, I want Vanguard stuff or something like that. It's like everybody can offer everything nowadays. It's not about the actual product itself. It's about how it all fits together and works with all the rest of your financial planning goals, which only a part of it is around investment planning. You yeah. Know, when, taxes, like you said, and estate planning. And when you're seeing these investment firms that are even getting on board the value of advice and realizing that their piece of the puzzle that they traditionally offered, which was some manager who was going to buy and sell investments for you and how irrelevant that manager has become in a lot of ways. Listen to this. Franklin Templeton, this piece says, is evolving their services to try and increase its value proposition to advisors Beyond just asset management, according to Backend Benchmarking's head of research, David Goldstone, listen to what Goldstone says. Asset management is an increasingly commoditized business. Both advisors and their providers are assessing their value proposition and what other value add services they can offer, he said. The important question for Franklin Templeton is whether these tools help advisors increase efficiency and improve the client experience while still maintaining their personalized services. Yeah, I think, that, like you said at the very beginning, it's the role of a professional advisor is advice. It's not only, although it's some of this, it's not only product selection and trading and all that sort of stuff, you know? And 25 years ago, it was product selection and trading. That was the primary role. And if you got a little bit of advice on the back end, that's fine. But if we look at this from the perspective of professional advisors, if we're trying to move this industry to a place where where we want it to be, which is that there's a whole cadre of highly qualified people who are able to give really good advice to people. 
on a financial basis or on financial matters, I should say, then you have to do one of two things. You either have to grow the organization or grow the place, or you have to find ways to, to optimize and free up time and where you can use technology. And this is what I think we've been saying from day one on this whole robo advisor thing. It's not, it's not the right word. It's not a robo advisor. It's a, like a robo trading platform. Yeah. You know? Yeah, this is it, and and Franklin Templeton really is. Th- that's what I was thinking. It's Robo Advisor Helper. Yeah, it's no different than a, you know, okay, Google, da 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 da. You know, schedule a haircut at ten o'clock. You're using technology to like offload those tedious tasks. I mean, gosh, I I I know you remember this. I certainly do. Sitting down with a portfolio with paper and pencil, and then finally with Excel, and going, okay, I need to rebalance this. So how much of this am I going to sell? How many shares of that? And and how many dollars of this? And, you know, where's the taxes? And you would sit, you'd actually work on that for some time. And now there's technology that does it. Now that technology is super expensive in some cases, in some cases it's free in your 401k and the more bells and whistles you want to add to it, the more robust it becomes. But now you don't have to sit, you just like press a button and then computer calculates the, the stuff for you. Do you have an advisor who always just talks about investments? It's not the whole game. It really, OG, is much more about dovetailing everything you do so that they all work in conjunction with each other. And even if you don't have a financial advisor per se, having a plan that dovetails everything is job number one. 